What's up everyone, this is Max from Kifar. Today I'm going to be showing you a video about how can you change the phone style of iTunes. As you can see over here, the phone style of iTunes is the default phone that you would get once you install or update iTunes. So I'm going to be showing you in this video how can you change this phone style. So first thing you need to do is quit iTunes and then go to iTunes in your applications folder. Once you're over there, make a right click on iTunes and then choose show package contents. Then go to the following directory, contents, resources, english.lproj, and once you're over there, go to the bottom and you're going to find a file called textstyles.plist. And from this file, you can actually change and uh, like you can affect the font size and the font style and anything else re related to the font in iTunes which means that this file is very important and any single mistake made in the contents of this file would make iTunes crash every time you open it up therefore we're going to make a backup of this file so copy it and uh, back it up somewhere else on your Mac in my case I'm going to back it up back it up over here okay one more thing, if you try to edit the file while it's in this directory, it won't allow you to edit it and you'll have to make a duplicate of it. Therefore, you're going to paste another copy on the desktop and then we're going to edit the contents of this copy and drag it back over here. So let's start doing that. Let's minimize this finder window and now open up the textstyles.plist file for editing. As you can see, we're going to use text edit to uh, edit this file. Once you have opened it up, you're going to unlock it first of all, then go to edit, find, find, and then you're going to search for this number, 9002. Okay? Once you have found this number, press on done, and then under this number over here, you're going to find the following Lucida Grant, or whatever it's called. Anyways, that is the phone style that is used currently in iTunes. Which means that if we change this phone style, we're going to change the phone style of iTunes. However, we're not going to only change this one. We're going to change this one and the one under 9001, which is this one as well. And also the one under 9003, which is this one as well. So you're, we're going to change all three of them, okay? Now, what phones are we supposed to use? To answer this question, the answer is in the phones book. In other words, only the phone styles that are in the phones book will be read by iTunes and will be replaced and used instead of the default font in iTunes. So whether it's a phone you have gotten um, with your Mac from Apple or whether it's a font you have installed, you can use any font as long as it is in the phones book. Okay? So, in this case, I'm going to use my own installed font called Sweetly Broken, and I'm going to insert it over here. Make sure that everything remains the same, including capital letters and the space between the words. Everything must be written exactly as they are in the phones book over here. Okay? So let's start with the edit. We're going to go back over here. Let's, let's, let's just drag it over here so that I can know exactly what am I supposed to write. And then over here, I'm going to, under 9001, I'm going to change this part to sweetly space broken, exactly as it is in the font book. Okay? This is very important. And then I'm going to copy this one and uh, under 9002 I'm going to go over here and paste and then under 9003 I'm going to go over here and paste once I'm done doing so I'm done with editing the contents of this file I'm going to save it and then I'm going to close it now let's put the phones book aside and open up back the finder, the directory that we were at. Okay? Now you're going to drag the edited file, which is the text, uh, textstyles.plist. You're going to drag the edited one and place it over here. Then press on authenticate. 
and then replace it's going to ask you for the password which is the password uh, the administrator password and like this you have replaced it and don't worry remember that you have placed a backup of this file so, uh, in the other directory on your Mac in my case it was here okay so just make sure before you start editing anything that you back up this file somewhere else so that in case anything goes wrong iTunes doesn't crash once you're done doing so you're actually done with changing the font style of iTunes now once you open iTunes now okay, it's really taking a lot of time okay here it is Come on. yes and here we are and as you can see the font style has changed completely for iTunes now of course the font is all messy because the font is all messy because Sweetly Broken is actually a weird font it looks weird but anyways I just wanted to show you that you can even it changed the phone style of iTunes with a phone that you have downloaded from the internet and installed on your Mac. In other words, it need not be a phone that you have gotten from Apple. As long as this phone is installed and is in the phone book, you can use any other phone over there. iTunes will read it directly from the phone book. Okay? Let's have another preview. Oh my gosh, this phone really is really bad. My recommendation, I would recommend if you want a proper alternative phone to the default phone that you have, I would recommend you use Century Gothic. It is the best in my opinion, and you receive it directly from Apple, so there is no need to search for it on the internet and install it. Anyways, it's just my recommendation. And that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please uh, read and subscribe, and if you have any comments, leave it below.